Hello and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I am making my detox bars. This is an all natural aloe vera soap and I put some really special ingredients in here including an essential oil blend of, let me see, okay, eucalyptus, tea tree and oregano. That's the essential oil blend and they have wonderful properties. I'm putting it in the soap. You can do the research and see what kind of essential oils you like, but that's what's going in there today. And uh, I'm thinking about, you know, for skin benefits, although I can't make any claims because it's a bar of soap, this soap is gonna lather and get you clean. I'm also putting in a 50-50 split for the color swirl, activated charcoal, a good healthy dose of activated charcoal and for the swirl color, bentonite clay. So those are gonna be the color swirls as well as they have wonderful properties. It makes a wonderful lather. Um, the activated charcoal, if you have white washcloths, it'll rinse out, but um, I probably wouldn't use it with a white washcloth. <laughs> uh, just, you know, it's very black, but it's, it's great on your skin. So the essential oils, the aloe vera, the charcoal and the bentonite clay, that's what's going in the soap today. I'm gonna to be doing a double batch because I do have somebody who wants to buy a lot of these bars. She emailed me and requested, will you please make this soap? I said, yes, I will. So I'm making a double batch of detox bars today. All right, we're back and it's additives time. This is one batch. I like to do, uh, when I'm doing a double batch, I just measure everything twice and do them in one batch at a time. That's just how I handle it better. So for the additives today, we're only putting colloidal oats in here right now because the activated charcoal and the bentonite will go for the different color swirls. So we're gonna hang on to these for later. I've got my essential oil blend here off to the side, which I will put in later because sometimes those essential oils can speed things up. So we definitely want to work cautiously. And then I have my gorgeous Himalayan black salt that I think I'm going to sprinkle down on the top just, you know, a little bit because it just kind of went, to me, it looks like it goes with the whole theme of these just wonderful natural bars. So that's going to go on top. So let me get my oats, colloidal oats here blended in. I sounded Mary Wisconsin when I said that, didn't I? Oats. <laughs> I did not know I had an accent growing up until I traveled outside of my home state of Wisconsin and got around some people and I said the word boat and they're like, say it again. And I said, boat. And they said, say it again, boat. So now I say boat, but I used to say boat. <laughs> if you can pick up that accent from Wisconsin. So my oats are going in. Let's get them blended and then we'll come back when we're ready with the aloe vera lye solution. It's time to add the aloe vera lye solution in here. This is a very fast moving essential oil blend. <laughs> I mean like almost soap on a stick. So I'm gonna have to move real fast. I'm gonna add the essential oils at the very last. So here's the aloe vera. It's got cane sugar, tuss of silk fibers and sodium lactate in there. I'm gonna get up to emulsion and then I will split this for the bentonite clay and the activated charcoal portion. Uh, and then we'll get everything ready to go and add those essential oils at the last minute and see if I can get a drop swirl because this almost seizes up. There's just like, you have about a 10 second playroom and that's it. So I'm going to try to uh, get it in the mold without too much of a disaster. The first batch I did, I will show you the footage. It went from liquid to solid, literally, eh, about 15 seconds. So we're gonna proceed with caution. This would actually be a really good essential oil blend in a hot process soap. I actually don't think I'm gonna be doing this in cold process anymore because of this reason. But this would make a great hot process soap. Anytime you have problematic essential oils or fragrant oils, hot process is a fabulous way to work with a really stinker fragrant oil or essential oil. All right, there we go.
Okay, so here is the footage from the first batch that I did. <laughs> and you're gonna see, I'm actually over blending this for what I need to do. So this is okay, just getting it up to emulsion. This stick blending is fine, but I should have hand stirred the additives in. So because I blended these and it had extra blending, you will see after I add the essential oil blend here in just a second, I whisk it in kind of aggressively. Everything looks fine. And then as soon as I start to pour, it just goes so quick. You think you're doing okay and then it happens all of a sudden. So check this out. All right, pouring, okay, that's okay. <laughs> but when I go back to the bentonite clay, it's just stuck. So, yeah, it's going to be gloppy. It's going to probably have a real marbly look, probably some air pockets in there, which I will show you how to repair when we get to that side, but I'm literally having to use two hands to kind of mush it down, trying to make this look as <laughs> elegant as I can. It's a rustic top, kind of looks like a hot process top. But anyway, this was a really stinker essential oil blend. So having to press the salt in so it'll stick, it's that firm. So anyway, we'll come back tomorrow and see the cut on these. Oh, not pretty. All right, it is the next day. <laughs> oh, this soap really kicked my behind. <laughs> I told my husband came home last night. He said, how was your day? And I said, the soap got the better of me. So, all right, let's take a look at these very not lovely tops they are what they are so this was the first pour that got very gloppy that i blended too much um i'm probably gonna have some air pockets uh, but the two colors stayed separate this one i poured what really fast while it was still liquidy and it muddied up so this might not have a lot of swirls but here's the deal both of these have all those amazing essential oils they have the charcoal the bentonite clay they're loaded with good stuff just not so pretty. So I'm anxious to get into each of these and see how uh, the cut bars look. So a lot of goodness packed in a not so attractive package. All right, let's get in here and see how these look on the inside. back with the lovely Olga and it's time to get into these and they are both just two distinctly different looking loaves. So I'm going to cut the middle loaf on each of these just so we can see the difference. Look at that cute little swirl right before it seized up on me. Ah, and those tops. Okay, wow. Um, so this definitely has some big air pockets on the side bars that I will see if I can repair. Otherwise, they'll just be nice bars for friends and family. But uh, the inside, I'm not seeing air pockets, so I am quite surprised and quite happy with that. All right, let's get into, this was the first loaf I poured that kind of seized up in the pot on me. Hey, those are kind of cute. That looks like a little dove coming down. Doesn't that look like a little dove olive leaf? Okay, it's bringing me peace here. <laughs> Even though it gave me a hard time, it's trying to make up to me. No air pockets, I can't believe it. So maybe just those end bars are gonna be uh, super wonky. So okay, the pour on this is not bad. All right. It's definitely not swirly, but it's kind of cool looking. Like, I don't know, killer whale or uh, not quite zebra. I don't know, but it's cool. 
So not so bad. I am pleasantly surprised with this loaf. So let me grab one of the other loaf, the second pour that I poured when it was really fluid. I have a feeling the swirls are gonna be super muted because it was very fluid when I first started pouring and then it seized up like right after I got it in the mold, I went to texture the top and it was already solid. Interesting, interesting batch. All right, let's get to the next loaf. Okay. Okay, here is the center cut of the next loaf. And uh, you can see it was definitely more fluid and the charcoal being such a dominant color kind of took over, but we'll see if there's some little swirls in there. Okay, very subtle. This looks like a totally different batch, even though the ingredients are exactly the same, just a different pour and a different stir time. So again, like I said, <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be cold processing this soap anymore. That was just not fun for me to have that sort of panicky feeling. Um, this would make a great hot process. So. If I revisit my detox blend of essential oils again, you'll be seeing me do a hot process. These are not bad. I mean, you definitely, all the goodness is in there. You just, the bentonite clay got swirled out by that activated charcoal because you know, the dark colors are dominant. So not a lot of swirl, lots of goodness though. This was an interesting experiment. All right. Let's cut into another loaf of my first pour and you can see these deep pockets where it just turned rock solid and I was pushing with both hands to try and get it to mush down and it wouldn't. So I'm gonna see if I can repair some of that. Um, let's get in here and see. I'm kind of liking this one better just because you can see the two different colors so well. But this one gave me a lot of trouble going in the mold like this bar, I don't know if I can repair that. So that might be a bar for me or friends and family. Maybe I'll do a scratch and dent in the shop with these little wonky pieces. Wow, well, think about that. Scratch and dent shop, I like that. Oh, okay, look at this cute little corner swirl. That's adorable. So, like I normally do, I'm gonna get all of my bars cut, let them sit for a couple of hours, uh, and let the surface area on here dry, and I will come back in and do the beveling and the stamping of all these. Oh yeah, <laughs> look, you can just see like a shelf there, how it seized up. Yeah, so what was I saying? <laughs> beveling and stamping, that's what I'm gonna do in a couple of hours, and uh, Thank you so much for joining me today. This was a stressful batch, but I'm happy with the end. Uh, yeah, soaping, adventures in soap making, right? Oh, there's one little air pocket. That is easy to fix. But anyway, all being said and done, I appreciate you taking the time to be with me today. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.